So we've talked about the important role of the platelet glycoproteins and before we move on to the rest of the coagulation cascade I'm going to talk about one of the important f structural characteristic of platelets and its role in activation of platelets really and these are the storage granules so there's two different types of storage granules which exist within platelets the the more numerous alpha granules and the less numerous dense granules and these are released when platelets are activated and they contain a number of substances another a number of substances which have an important role in in all of hemostasis and we'll go through th we'll go through them now so the first type as I mentioned are the alpha granules these contain substances such as a number of clotting factors they contain von Willebrand factor which helps increase the, the levels of, of von Willebrand factor available for adhesion and they also contain a substance called platelet derived growth factor which we'll discuss in detail a bit further down the line dense granules are the second type and the most important molecule they release is a molecule called ADP or adenosine diphosphate they also release ATP and, 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 and calcium calcium in particular being important for the coagulation processes to occur but ADP is, a, is one of the molecules that has a very strong positive feedback in terms of activating other platelets and it's one of two that I'll just highlight now ADP the second molecule we're going to discuss is called thromboxane A2 and these are the, the two molecules that are, it's really important to know about because they have very strong impact on activating other platelets as we discussed earlier platelets are activated in a number of ways they can be activated by adhesion to the, to the subendothelial tissues they can be activated by, by thrombin um, that's produced by the coagulation cascade but these are two very important products which are released from platelet activation which go on to promote further platelet act, uh, activation ADP is released when dense granules are activated and, and release their substances but thromboxane A is, is, is synthesized afresh when platelets are activated both these are very important for, for, for the positive feedback effects that they have for, for instance it, they're the targets of, of, of different antiplatelet drugs clopidogrel in the case of ADP and aspirin in the case of thromboxane A2 and once again it's, it's to highlight the, the very important effect that the very important role that positive feedback has within hemostasis, the hemostasis mechanisms and we'll emphasize that point again when we move on to the coagulation cascade now